Hi, this is Teacher Joanne of Matthew. Let us have another episode in general math and the topic in this video is all about inverse functions. So for this lesson, here are the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define an inverse function, determine the inverse of one-to-one -one function, and prove two one-to-one -one functions that are inverses. To attain the learning objectives, we need to answer the essential question, how to find the inverse of a function? Let us now have its definition. When we say inverse function, it is also called an anti-function, and it is defined as a function that reverses another function. A function has an inverse function if it is a one-to-one. -one. The inverse of f is denoted by f raised to negative 1 or is being read as f inverse. In set of ordered pairs and also in a table of values, all we need to do is just to reverse x and y values. Always remember that if the x and y values of a one-to-one -one function are interchanged, the result is a function. And if the x and y values of a function that is not one-to-one -one are inverted, the result is not also a function. So how do we find the inverse function? First, we have to replace f of x by y. Second, we interchange x and y values. Third, we solve for y. And fourth, we change y to f inverse. Let us now apply the following steps to our examples. So for the first example, we have find the inverse of f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. So the first thing that we will do is to change the f of x to y. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 3. Second step, interchange x and y. So we have x is equal to 2y plus 3. Isolate the 2y since we need to look for y. So we have 2y is equal to add both sides by negative 3. So we have x minus 3. Then divide both sides by 2. So we have y is equal to x minus 3 over 2. To indicate that this is an inverse, we change y to f inverse of x. So we have f inverse of x is equal to x minus 3 over 2. So this is the inverse of our given function. Since the function is 1 to 1, then the inverse is also 1 to 1. For the second example, we need to find the inverse of g of x is equal to the square root of x, where x is greater than or equal to 0. What is the meaning of this? This represents the domain of this function, and we need this in the inverse function of this. So first, we need to change the g of x to y. So y is equal to the square root of x. Interchange these two variables, so we have x is equal to the square root of y. Since we need the value of y, we need to remove the square root. So we have to square both sides of the equation. So we have here x squared is equal to, cancel this, so we only have y. And since we're looking for the inverse, we have to change the y to the g inverse of x equals x squared. As we all know in our previous discussion, in the previous video about one-to-one, -one, this x squared or any quadratic function is not considered one-to-one. -one. Therefore, in order for this to become the inverse function of our given, we need to give restriction on the values of x. So here, x should be greater than or equal to zero as well. So this gives us the inverse function. So for our third example, we need to find the inverse function of h of x is equal to x plus 1 over 5x minus 2, which is a rational function. So same procedure to be applied, change h of x with y. And that we have x plus 1 over 5x minus 2. Second step, we have to interchange x and y. So we have x is equal to y plus 1 over 5y minus 2. And to remove this denominator 5y minus 2, we need to multiply both sides by 5y minus 2. So here, we need to distribute the x to 5y minus 2. So we have x times 5y minus 2 
On the right side, we cancel the 5 y minus 2, so we only have y plus 1. Next is to distribute x to both terms, so we have 5xy minus 2x is equal to y plus 1. We need to look for the value of y, so we need to combine these two terms on one side and those without y on the right side. So we now have 5xy minus y is equal to 2x plus 1. Since we are looking for y, we need to factor out y on these two terms. So we have y times 5x, 5xy divided by y is 5x, negative y divided by y is negative 1 equals 2x plus 1. So we now have the h inverse of x is equal to 2x plus 1 over 5x minus 1. For the properties of an inverse function, given a 1 to 1 function f of x and its inverse f inverse of x, then the following statements are true. The inverse of the symbol f raised to negative 1 of x is f of x. Second, f of f inverse is equal to x for all x in the domain of f inverse. f inverse of f of x is equal to x for all x in the domain of f. These two last statements in the form of composition of functions help us to prove that two functions are inverses of each other. So all we need to do is the composition of function putting one function inside the other and we have to show that it is equivalent to x. Let us use this as our example. Prove that the functions f of x is equal to 2x minus 6 and g of x is equal to x plus 6 over 2 are inverses. Since we're using f and g, show that f of g of x is equal to g of f of x equals x, meaning in performing each composition, the result should be equal to x. So let's do this. We have f of g of x. Recalling composition of function, g is our input to f. So the value of x in f will be changed to g, so x plus 6 over 2 minus 6. So here, we multiply so we can cancel 2 and 2. So we only have x plus 6 minus 6, which gives us x. Next, we need to show that g of f of x is also equal to x. So f is the input in g. So the x in g will be changed to 2x minus 6 plus 6 all over 2. Simplify the numerator, so we cancel negative 6 and positive 6, so we have 2x over 2, which is also equal to x. Since we have shown that f of g of x and g of f of x are both equal to x, we can now conclude that f of x and g of x are inverses. Meaning, if we find the inverse of 2x minus 6, it will result to x plus 6 over 2 and vice versa. After having our discussion, it is now time to test yourself. Find the inverse of each function. You may pause the video so you can answer these two items. Let's check our work. For the first one, the inverse is 3x minus 15 over 2. The second, its inverse is 3x over 4 minus x. Here are the key takeaways in this lesson. Inverse or antifunction is a function that reverses another function. The steps are the following. First, Replace f of x by y. Second, we interchange x and y. Third, we solve for y. And fourth, change y to f inverse or whatever variable is given in the function. Also, to prove that two functions are inverses, take note that f of f inverse of x should be equal to x and f inverse of f of x should also be equal to x. Here is the end of our lesson. Thanks for watching. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Math Room by Teacher Joan. Click on the notification bell to be updated. Bye everyone. See you in our next video.